What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen, how to cook. And in the kitchen today, boo, we are making this recipe. I've made a couple of chicken pie recipe for you guys many times, but this one, honey, you are going to love it. Not only is it fast, easy, and simple, but it tastes amazing. Now, if it is your first time here to my channel and you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe for me, okay? And turn on the post notifications so you won't miss any kind of upload. And for all of my returning goodies, on a done no set, on a girl loving up, on a red for cook, come on, let's go. Alright goodies, let's cook. Now we have our skinless chicken thighs here that has been washed nice and clean with salt, lemon juice and vinegar and it looks pretty much like that. Now, if you want to leave your skin on, you can leave your skin on because I have made this recipe several times with the skin actually on. What the skin does is really locks in more flavor because from that fat and so the chicken will even taste way better especially if you don't really care of marinating the chicken for way too long okay all right so before you actually start to season your meat you want to go in with a clean paper towel and tap into the chicken and remove any liquid that might have been left over after you got done rinsing and cleaning your chicken now we're going to season this baby up so we're adding some salt here and then as a combination to your salt you want to go in and add some black pepper you also add in onion powder and as a combination to the onion powder you're going to add garlic powder and you do not want to substitute these four first ingredients okay all right now i'm adding some chicken seasoning here now the chicken season that i'm using it is definitely filled with nothing but flavor. Of course, it's Ocho Rios, okay? Ocho Rios chicken season tastes amazing. But if you don't have this particular brand, you could always substitute for anything that you like. I'm also adding some combo season, and of course, again, it's the Ocho Rios brand. You can always substitute this out for any other seasoning of your choice, such as all-purpose seasoning, like this one. The Maggie all-purpose seasoning is amazing. Uh, sometimes I use this one too. This is the total seasoning here. It's almost as good as the Ocherius Combo seasoning. But y'all, use whatever that you have in the kitchen. You won't be disappointed, okay? Now, you don't want to skip this part though. You want to add some paprika to it. It's going to give it a lot of color. Um, and then you want to add a little bit of dried pepper flakes. Um, you could add scotch bonnet if you like, but this is the brand that I'm using as far as my pepper flakes is concerned. Now to that, you want to go in and add just a little bit of oil. Now the oil that I'm using here is the avocado oil, but you can substitute that out. I'm going to add some white vinegar to the recipe because why? I'm going to cook nothing without vinegar. And all I'm doing here is rubbing in all these ingredients in. Very simple ingredients that you guys may already have in your kitchen. Now, as far as marinate the chicken, is it up to you? But for me, on a don't know, if you guys have been following me forever, I never pass 30 minutes when I'm marinating my chicken. Unless I have a whole lot of time on my hands. And 90% of the time, I don't have time on my hands. So I only marinate for 30 minutes. That is what it looks like. It is perfect. And it's not overly seasoned. It is just right. 30 minutes in, I'm going in with my pot on my fire. And I'm adding the oil to it. And again, the oil of choice here is my avocado oil. And again, you could always substitute that out. Now, what you want to go in next here is make sure that your fire is at a medium heat. You don't want your stove top to be too high or else you're going to brown, over brown your chicken. And we don't want this chicken to be over brown. We just want to have this chicken toasted just a tap bit as we are going to be simmering this chicken in some good juices. So please do not go and over brown the chicken because we're not cook brown stew chicken in the kitchen, okay? All right, now skin down as if you actually add the skin down, that's how you wanna fry it. At about, I'll say maybe two or uh, two minutes in, you wanna go in at a medium heat and turn the chicken nice and gentle on the other side and you guys, you notice that the chicken did not, it did not get brown as if you're making brown stew chicken. Your fire should only be at a medium heat. And another two or three seconds or whatever, nothing past a minute, you want to go back in and you want to turn it on the other side. Now, what we are also trying to achieve here 
is some really good flavors in the bottom of your pan. That flavor in the bottom of your pan is a trick to the recipe. Along with some other ingredient, ingredients that I will show you guys. All right. As we watch, go ahead and watch. All right. Make sure to say a thumbs up the videos if you're still here watching. Now, after all of this and all of that, you want to go in and you want to remove your chicken pieces out of the pot. Okay. Now, I want to give you guys an heads up before we even get any further. I had lost. Well, let's just say I thought I was recording after I got done with this clip. But evidently, I'm still learning to use the device that I'm presently using. Okay. This is brand new here. And sometimes when I press record, I actually think that it's recording when it's not so I lost the entire clip all right but I want to show you the ingredients that you're going to add to the recipe that you will definitely need now I'm using some fresh pineapple here do not use pineapple juice you guys for this recipe you will need fresh pineapple now you want to dice up your pineapple I'm putting it in my little hand blender here it's like a little smoothie type of a machine I'm just going to throw it in here add some water to it just water okay now if you don't want to add water or if you want to continue with your flavors you could add some chicken stock chicken broth just add it in with the pineapple and blend it okay but for me I'm using um, I'm just gonna add water because first one I didn't have any chicken stock or broth at, at hand so the water was per perfectly fine because my pineapple honey is going to give me some sweet flavor up in here okay so you just go ahead and add what you want to add to it Put it in the blender or whatever and just blend away until it's nice and smooth and creamy. All right. Just pretty much like this, right? Pretty much. You could even drink this thing. Sweeten it up with some sugar and some lemon, honey. You got some pineapple juice right there. Now we're going to also add some carrots, you guys, um, to it. As, as you can see, I'm just dicing it up just like that. Um, if you want to add more vegetables, you definitely can add more vegetables. But for me, I only wanted to add um, carrots to the recipe, okay? Now, in addition to the carrot, you guys want to be sure that you have an onion here, all right? I'm using a medium-sized onion. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and chop it, slice it into two equal parts. However, one part of the onion, I'm going to dice it up. I'm going to dice up this part of the onion and this is where I missed I let, um, I thought I was recording for the next clip and I wasn't because I really wanted to show you guys what I was doing in the pot before it really when I before I really saw that I was not recording but you want to go ahead and dice up this part so thank god I even got this clip to show you guys okay you want to dice up one part of the onion that's what goes in the pot first and then the other side of the onion that you slice, it is going to go in when the meat is ready to simmer. You will actually see that part. But I again explain it here. You see what I'm saying? In that pot, I did have about four tablespoons of butter. That's what I used to remove the good flavors from the bottom of the pot. And I did add the onions. And I also added a little bit more seasoning, not a lot because it was already seasoned to flavor. But the butter and the onion really melted and this is what you have here. I did also have just a tad of garlic, fresh garlic, the chopped garlic, though that's all that I had added to that pot. Now when everything is nice and combines like this, you want to go in and add your chicken to it. Now, for some of you guys that may say you don't like chicken thighs, you could use chicken drumsticks. You could, I've used, I've done the same recipe using wings, you guys. That's how amazing this sauce is. So you could actually use wings or breasts or any part of the chicken that you like. But trust me, these chicken drum, these chicken thighs, honey, is the bomb that come. Now, I didn't waste any of my marinade at all. And all I have to do here is just pour out this good pineapple Oh, luscious sauce all over the chicken you guys all right and you will see at the end of the video why it's critical not to use pineapple juice but to actually use the fresh pineapple now you want to go in and add the onions to it add the carrots to it just like I'm showing you guys here the more carrot the better or the more veggies you want to add to it the better but you do not want to leave out this honey baby okay with this honey and with this pineapple as a combination, this recipe is on fire. Now, to finish it off, before you cover it up, you want to go in and add some fresh parsley or fresh oregano or whatever you have that is green. Go ahead and sprinkle it on it and let it simmer and do what it needs to do for another like 15 to 20 minutes. And when you come back, baby, okay, 
When I tell you, baby, this thing is amazing. And look at the gravy, all right? This is why I told you guys, you don't have to, do not, let me repeat, do not use a pineapple juice. You want to be sure that you actually have a pineapple. Whether you want to use a pineapple in the can or, or a fresh pineapple, but just be sure that you have pineapple for the recipe because this is what is going to thicken your gravy. And you trust me, you are eating nothing but pineapple, okay? Healthy, healthy, healthy. This recipe is the bomb.com. Now, I have to put it on a plate so you guys can see the texture of the meat inside, right? Look at that, you guys. Look at that, goodie. Look at that. My mouth is watering just by remembering how good this thing was. This gravy, honey, is awesome on some baked potato, mashed potato, white rice, rice and peas. Whatever you want to eat this up with, it is absolutely amazing. Even if you want to make some pasta or some spaghetti, this recipe is the one to go for, okay? Just do me a favor. Spread the love. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Bring them come goody and send them come. I'm waiting. And when you get done doing all of that, tell me where you want to see me cook next. In my kitchen. And remember as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy!